One useful text feature that can be placed in a design is a text node. A text node is a kind of place marker for formatted text. The node carries all the text formatting information and when activated allows text to be inserted using that formatting. You usually place text nodes in a design when you know what format individual text notes should have, but you haven't yet decided what the notes should actually say. You can then enter the appropriate text at a later date with the Edit Text tool, and you can then be sure that the formatting for your text is correct. Now you saw text nodes in the Level 1 course when you place multiple lines of text. So let's have a look at that again to see what it actually means. Before we do that, however, make sure that your text nodes are actually visible. So go to View Attributes and make sure that Text Nodes is highlighted and on. Do that first. Now let's place some multiple lines of text and look for the text node. So I'm going to the text tool and we're using the Arial 6 style from the previous video. We'll leave that where it is. And I'll place some text. Again, it's just rubbish. Enter, more text, enter more text, because I have three lines of text. This qualifies as multiple text, so when I come onto the screen and place it, I'm going to go back to the Element Selection tool and have a close look at this. Now the text node is the cross, which you see here, but if you look very carefully, you'll also see a number. In this case it's a 2 and a 9, so 29. This is text node number 29 in this particular drawing. Now text nodes are numbered sequentially, so every time you add a text node or you add multiple lines of text in this case, the text node number simply sequentially goes up. So far so good. I'm going to get rid of this, I'm going to undo that, and let's place some actual text nodes in the drawing. Text node tool is here, place text node, click on that, we can make some changes. We can have a view independent text where the text will stay oriented with the screen rather than the drawing. If we rotate the drawing, we'll leave that off. And we can change the active angle of the text too. We'll leave that off too. Let's place some text nodes. There's the first one, and that will be now number 30, since the multiple lines we just placed were 29. And even though we undid them, the text nodes are still going in sequentially. Let's add a couple of those. 31 and 32. Let's go and change the text style now. So element, text styles, and let's change it to architectural 12. That's my current style. I'm going to move this out the way. Now again, please remember that I can move that box completely off the screen because I'm working with two monitors side by side. Uh, if you're working with a single monitor, you can't do that, of course, because you need to drag the box back, and so you must see it in a corner of your drawing somewhere. Let's place some more text nodes. Text node tool is still running. Let's place three more. There's one, there's two, there's three. Now these are being placed in the new style. So far, so good. Now we need to edit these text nodes in order to place text. So let's go to Edit Text, and we'll click on this text node. The text editor pops into place, and we can enter some text. There's some text. Click in the screen. My text shows up with the text node still in place. I can keep doing this to all of these text nodes as we go. Notice that having chosen this text node and this text node, the text style displays in the edit box as 6 inch, which is correct. If I now click on the other style, notice my style is now changed to the arch 12, which is also correct. Enter more text, click on the screen, and we have the new text attributes displaying, exactly as it should do. And you can keep going through that list, of course. Now, when placing this or when editing, don't forget that you don't need to click in the screen before going to the next piece of text. So for example, I'm still text editing. If I select this one and enter text, I don't need to click in the screen. On its own, I can click the next node and enter more text. Now I click the screen because I have no more text nodes to work with.
there. Now this is all very nice, but the text nodes are obviously getting in the way, so you simply turn them off. View attributes, turn off text nodes, and now you're left with just the text, which is how you want to see the text for plotting purposes. Now one last item. If I start with the place text tool and I turn text node lock on, what happens is that any text I enter here is forced to go to the next text node in line. So I don't have to specifically select a text node in that case. It's an automatic step through the available step nodes in the drawing, which certainly saves time, but you must realize that the text will go to the next node in line, which may not be in the exact place that you need that particular text. So using this method requires that you are placing your tech nodes in exactly the right positions ahead of time. So you place your actual text exactly where you need it. The text node lock is here. It is also in the locks box too. Note that text node lock is on now because I've turned it on in the place text box and turning it off here also turns it off in the tool settings window. You might try that too when you practice placing text nodes. So place some text nodes, turn text node lock on, use the place text tool, enter text, and see what happens with your existing text nodes.